Let's see how Shank's baby step giant step algorithm works. The goal here is to break the DLP, the discrete logarithm problem. So given a primitive root g and a value h, we're trying to find x such that g to the x is congruent to h modulo p. And uh, well, one could try just a brute force algorithm and try all the possible exponents, but since p is very large, uh, this is very hard to solve in general. So we're trying to find an algorithm that speeds that up. Here's how the algorithm works. We're giving a p, a g, and an h, such that we are trying to find a power of g, a power x, such that g to the x is h. First, we compute the order modulo p of g, that's capital N, and then we compute little n, which is one plus the floor of a square root of n. And then we compute two lists. The first list is powers of g. This is multiplication by g in each step, and those are the baby steps. And then u is going to be g to the minus nth power modulo p and compute h and h times u, h times u squared and so on. Here the steps are multiplying by u and those are the giant steps. And then it turns out there is a match between the two lists. So we find the match and that power of i that appears here and the power of j that appears in that list, that will give us the exponent we're looking for. Here's an example. So suppose we're trying to solve this DLP problem. 6 to the x is congruent to 2 modulo 41. So we're given p is 41, g is 6, h is 2. The order of 6 modulo 41 is 40. 6 is a primitive root. So little n is 1 plus the floor of the square root of 40, which is 7. We compute the two lists, the powers of 6 modulo 41 and compute u, which is 6 to the minus 7, which is 17 modulo 41, and then compute uh, the list of h time and h times u and so on, so that is h, h times u, h times u squared, and so on, and find a match. There is a match between the two lists, 27 appears in both lists, and this is g to the 5, this is h times u cubed, so that is my match, so that's i and that's j, so x is 5 plus 7 times 3, so x is 26. So why does it work? It works when we find the coincidence, and it turns out there is always such a match between the lists, because if you do long division of x by n, you get a quotient and a remainder, and since g to the x is congruent to h, using that equation, you can rewrite this in this form. And g to the r is in my first list, and h times u to the q, that's in my second list, so there is a coincidence, and that coincidence allows me to compute x.